Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today we are doing a mid-year planner stack. So my last video where I did a planner stack was for the beginning of 2021 and you guys seem to really like the video which I appreciate. So since I have added a planner and kind of changed up a couple things since then, I wanted to show you guys my updated planner stack. So if that sounds interesting, keep watching. All right, so the first planner I'm gonna show you is my catch-all planner. This gorgeous cover is from Cardinal Planners and I did purchase this for uh, myself using some birthday money this year. I finally treated myself to one of these covers. So if you ever are feeling like you wanna treat yourself to something nice for your planner, highly, highly recommend this. Um, it's, it's perfect. Again, Cardinal Planners. I'm not affiliated in any way, I just think their products are amazing. And then this is my catch-all planner. So here in the front, we have some heart pockets that can just kind of, you know, hold some sticker sheets and whatever you got going on there in the front. And then this is the actual planner. So this clear cover is from Cloth and Paper. You can still purchase this. I got this because I was kind of getting tired of planner covers. Uh, I, I couldn't really find anything that really worked for me that I wouldn't get tired of. And I thought that this clear cover would be great. And event, you know, <laughs> of course, when I first started, I was like, I'm not gonna put any stickers on it. Well, that didn't last very long. So now it has stickers all over it, but I only use clear stickers because I think it looks really cool on this cover. And then I have this behind it, which is just a layering piece with uh, die cuts from the Honey Bee Shop. and more die cuts from the Honeybee shop. And then this is a printable from Magical Plan Studio on Etsy. That is a picture of me and my hubby and a book for my niece. And then we just have some acetate from a Honeybee shop babe box. This is a free printable from shawnaclingerman.com. And I wanna take you into the actual guts of the planner. So these are my undated monthly inserts from Lights Planner Action. I have not filled in August on, so I just want to show you what they look like blank. Um, I wrote in the, you know, the months and the year at the top, but I'm obsessed with them. They work super well for me. I'm not, I'm, I've talked about it before. I'm not a huge monthly planner person for my catch-all. It, it just is something I don't use very often, but sometimes it is nice to have that overview um, and sometimes you just want to put things in on the monthly and not just on the weekly. And I like that you have the nice notes section over here. So again, these inserts are from Lights Planner Action. My friend Queen has a code, Queen10, if you would like to uh, save a little coin. And then we get into the weekly. And again, this is a printable from Magical Plane Studio. This is the black version of it. I thought it was so cute. Okay, so these actually need to come out. These are just some older weeks that I did and I like to you know at the beginning of every month pull out all the pages that I've used so far for my weeklies and my monthlies usually um, and I have a, a separate like set of discs that I put older stuff on I just like to keep it current and here's where I want to show you what I've got going on so these are my blackout weekly inserts from Lights Planner Action so I was using before and I already took out most of them before I was using this layout and now I am using this layout. So here's a blank one so you can kind of see what it looks like. It is just a full, you know, vertical, full columns, weekly layout. It's, it's functional, it's perfect. You can decorate as much as you want or you can just write. You can just take a pen to it and write, which I have done, but it is perfect for full box stickers and quarter boxes and half boxes and all that good stuff. This is my layout for the upcoming week. And there is a cat hair under the sticker driving me crazy. All right, I think we got it. So <laughs> this is my layout for the upcoming week and I am in love with it. So this planner, again, I use for 
it's just a catch-all so I put it, it's mainly for work and personal but it's really just kind of my home base planner and this stays with me next to my desk every single day when I'm working and it just it brings me a lot of comfort to have it. And even on weeks where I'm not super busy, I fill it out and I decorate it and I write things in it. Even if it's just simple things like today we're doing, you know, grocery pickup or grocery shopping or make sure to refill your prescription or, you know, get a car wash. Like even if it's just simple things like that, this brings me a lot of comfort to have. And I, it just helps me keep track of things. And it makes me feel good when I can write things down and check them off. And I'm sure you guys can relate. So these stickers, this one down here, all these like plant stickers and the date covers, I actually made these and pretty proud of them. Um, and I am going to open an Etsy shop. I'm working out the kinks and still playing around with designs and making sure everything is the way I want it. This printed way too dark and I don't know why because it's literally the same color as this sticker and it just, it printed darker. So I got to work out a couple kinks the day covers came out really nice and the numbers I also made. And then this full box sticker came out really, really beautiful. So I'm very happy with it. So I used those stickers in combination with a lot of other things, but um, a lot of Passion Planner stickers. So all of these are from a Passion Planner, uh, the Nature sticker book. And this is from Once More With Love, I believe. There's a couple Happy Planner, old um, colorful boxes, Mixie Cat stuff. Um, this is from Paper House Studios from the This Is Us collection. That's from the Honeybee Shop. That's from one of the bait boxes. I can't remember which one. And I made that box. I made that box. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. Sorry if I forgot any shops, but um, yeah, I'm really I'm really loving it. And the Passion Planner stickers. I just thought like the gold accents with the black background was perfect to go with the stickers that I designed. And then here in the back, I just have my extra paper. So if I ever wanna switch this layout, I can. Also from Lights Planner Action, very functional. It's really easy to decorate because there's a lot of space for you to decorate. Or if you just wanna go functional, you can do that as well. And then just paper, just extra paper. Just filler paper, you know, it's always good. Again, it's just comforting to have it there. And this is my reusable layout where you can use a wet erase marker on it. I have a video on how to make one of these if you are interested. And then just a sheet back here with some stickers. And then I have a couple things back here that I need to figure out what I'm doing with. But it's nice to be able to tuck them into this pocket. And then this little uh, Last of Us Part 2 Ellie Tattoo inspired sticker that I designed and made. So that is my catch-all planner. All right, the next planner we're gonna look at is my passion planner. This is my social media planner. And you know what? I cannot remember if in the last video if I had this yet. I feel like I did, um, but I want to show you guys kind of how I've been using it and how, I mean, it has just been working so well for me. And at first, like I knew I loved it, but I wasn't like 100% sold if it was gonna work for me for social media, but it's absolutely perfect. So let me show you my first ever layout. So I got this in late March. So I may, I, I'm pretty sure I did include this in the first 2021 planner stack. This was the very first time I used it and I kind of, it doesn't look like there's any color coding. It looks like I was breaking it up down here in the bottom left. And I don't do it this way, but I have kind of, I'll, I'll show you. It's really evolved and it's really just been me trying things and just seeing if they work. And if they don't, then we just try again the next week. Um, and so I encourage you to just, just try and just find what works well for you because you can make your planner as pretty as you want, but if it's not functional for you, it's not working for you, right? So um, it's sometimes it's kind of hard to find that balance between, you know, decorative and functional, but I think I finally found it <laughs> and I'm really happy about it. But you can just kind of see here how I've tried to do different things and I've messed around with color coding and I've 
you know, tried different things for this box down here. And what I'm doing now, oh my God, God, it is just perfect for me. And I hope that maybe I can inspire one of you to try it. So you can see on this week, I had just done my podcast and then my YouTube channel down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip. These are from Dolce Planner. Beautiful stickers, definitely check them out. Okay, so this was the last one that I have filled in. So I wanna show you guys how I used it and hopefully it can give you some ideas if you have a passion planner. And it doesn't have to be your social media planner. Maybe your passion planner is your catch-all uh, or your wellness planner or just a work planner, whatever it is. So for me, what has been working the best is, and you can see on the blank layouts what this looks like. It comes like this with personal to-do list and work to-do list, and then it has top priority, priority errands. So if this is your catch-all planner, that works really well for you. And you may not, you may not like want to change that at all. But for me, I don't want personal and work because this is just social media and content planning. So what I do is I take washi and I put it over that header. And then I usually just use it as like to do's up here. So this I put, let's do this. And then I put goal getter and never ended up putting anything goal getter, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and then down here, what I've been doing is kind of outlining these sections with pen and using highlighter. And I'm using color coding again, but I've found what works best for me. So I did a video not too long ago where it was a plan with me and my passion planner. And I was trying, let me actually, let me go to that layout. It was this one. This is the one I did for the most recent passion planner plan with me. And you can see that I was trying to do like symbols to match up like YouTube and then the little star, Patreon and the little, you know, smiley face, um, Instagram and the heart. And I was doing that because the color coding was just for YouTube. So I was really just trying to find a way to make it work and it did work, but honestly using all these little icons, I knew I wasn't gonna stick with that and I was making it more complicated than it needed to be. So now what I do is for YouTube, instead of having just a YouTube key, I made these stickers and they have photo, edit, film, schedule, and I need to make one for like reels and a couple other things, but this is the best system for me. And these stickers I am planning on selling uh, once I open that Etsy shop because they have just worked so well for me. They're very simple, um, very small and simple, but they're so functional. So I have YouTube here and I did red, and then you can see I have red. So if it's YouTube and I need to film, I put a film sticker. And then if it's, you know, if I need to edit, I put edit, schedule. So it has worked super, super well for me. And this particular sticker paper is clear, but you can also write on top of it. So it's just, it's just amazing. It's worked so well for me. And this has been functional, but also cute. And all of these stickers are from Passion Planner. And I found out that I'm a Passion Planner ambassador very recently. So if you are interested in Passion Planner, whether it is the actual planner, stickers, the Passion Markers, anything that they have, you can use code CAST10 for 10% off your purchase. I have a link in the description that you can use and it really helps me out. I appreciate it. Um, or if you're not comfortable doing that, just go to passionplanner.com. But um, yeah, so this has worked really well for me. And then this is the upcoming week. I'm obsessed with this. I just need to fill in this bottom box because I couldn't find my model liner. <laughs> I couldn't find the right color. Um, but these stickers are from the June, yeah, the June uh, bait box from the Honeybee Shop. And it's just, it's beautiful. I just, it's beautiful. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And this planner goes all the way through the end of the year. And we'll see if I can have enough self-control <laughs> to not get a different cover before the end of the year. I'm really gonna try to finish her out. I think this cover is beautiful. If anything, I may just end up getting like a second one. We'll see. I'm really gonna try to just use this one up um, it's beautiful. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And there's no reason for me to get another one right now, but 
Passion Planner does have passion journals now, so if you are a bullet journal person or if you just want a journal, they have these, but it's just a blank notebook with dot grid paper. So just something else to note. For the next planner, I won't take too long showing you because, you know, well, I'll tell you in a second. So this is my budget planner. Now, if you've been on my channel a while, you will know that this used to actually be my social media planner before I got the passion planner. But because it is an ARC notebook and it's disc bound with these beautiful bat discs from Muse Lab. These were limited edition. Unfortunately, you cannot go out and buy them right now. I had these on my catch all because they're my favorite discs ever, but they're just not big enough for everything I want in my catch all. So I'm hoping that Jen will come out with some bigger bat discs in the future, maybe for Halloween, who knows? So again, this is my budget planner and I have this kind of decorated with things from past honeybee shop, uh, babe boxes, just because I have those papers lying around and they're beautiful. So it works for that. And then this actual planner is printables from Lights Planner Action. And I'm not gonna show you the stuff I've filled in because it's my budget planner and I'm not about to show y'all my finances, but <laughs> I will show you the blank pages. Um, so this is the main layout. You get a page for every single month. And because this is a printable, I can just keep printing them. So <laughs> that's the beauty of printables. If you have the printer at home and paper. And then here, I thought this was amazing. So this is uh, savings trackers. So you can write what you're saving for and then a goal and then you give a value to the little leaves and then you just color them in as you save money, which is pretty awesome. Then you have no spend trackers, which I need to be using so that I will stop spending money on things. And that is the planner. Very simple, very functional for me. And I'm glad that I was able to reuse this half letter cover and disc um, and turn it into my budget planner. So shout out to Lights Planner Action for those amazing inserts. Okay, so this is my art journal. I believe I had this in the first 2021 planner stack video. I got this as a birthday present from my beautiful friend Queen from Queen's Fancy Plans. Look at the edges, y'all. Oh my God. So definitely uh, go check her channel out. But this is my art journal. And I was inspired by Shauna Klingerman to try out art journaling. And I have been slacking a little bit lately. I need to get back into it because it is so therapeutic. Like it, it's amazing. And if you don't know much about art journaling, what it is, at least how I've interpreted it, is art journaling is a way for you to just sit down and use markers pens, paint, stamps, whatever it is that you have to really just like be creative and not worry about the result. So sometimes we sit down and we're so worried that something's gonna be ugly that we don't do it. And we need to just like sit down and play with colors, play with pens. Um, this was something I did that I'm actually really proud of. And I turned it into Digital, so when I made it digital, I made a few like tweaks to make it a little bit more symmetrical. But um, yeah, I'm really proud of this and I believe that's the last thing I did. Yeah, I was just doodling on this page, <laughs> a couple future like sticker ideas, but um, I have this whole beautiful book from Archer and Olive that I need to, uh, I need to play in more. And what's great about these Archer and Olive journals is that you can use acrylic paint in them. The paper is super, super thick. If I don't even know if I can properly show you. The paper is very thick. It's amazing quality. So here you can see this page, this is all ink that I stamped on the background. And there's absolutely, like there's no bleeding at all. There's no ghosting or bleeding. Now there was a little bit here from this, but that's because I used a Sharpie and I don't know why I did that, <laughs> but uh, I typically have absolutely no issues with bleeding through the pages or anything. So definitely recommend Archer and Olive and I need to, I need to be using this more because 
it is a great outlet, especially like with planning because I share so many of my spreads and things on Instagram and here on YouTube. Um, sometimes I'm really just concerned about what it looks like and I want it to be pretty. Whereas with this, it's fun to just sit down and play with stuff. And if it's pretty, great. And if it's not, great. It was still, you had fun. So that's all that matters. Okay. This right here is my newest addition to my planner stack. And this is another, I know, I know, it's another B6TN. Okay, look. I blame Shan from the Honeybee Shop because these are all from her, okay? And I blame her, it's all her fault, but it's okay. So this, this is from the June Babe Box, which is the Honeybee Shop's uh, planner subscription box. Yeah, this came in it. And the value that, oh my, I talk about it so much, but the value is incredible. So we got this planner cover and we got this insert and these papers. So this was the insert. And this I decided after much um, thought <laughs> and really like sitting down and brainstorming and figuring out how I wanted to use this new cover because I was super happy to have it, but I was also like kind of overwhelmed because, <laughs> well, y'all see this whole video. I have so many planners already, but I knew I wanted to use it and I came up with something great. So this planner is my traveler's notebook. <laughs> yeah, great idea, right? It's a, it's a traveler's notebook is what it is. But most of my traveler's notebooks, I don't take with me. They stay at home. This is one to keep in my bag and to actually take with me. And this insert right here, the one that came with the bait box, I decided to use for memory keeping for hiking. So hiking is a relatively new hobby that my husband and I have. And I did this memory keeping spread from one of our most recent hikes. And it was a super um, big accomplishment uh, for us because it was the longest hike we ever did. It was seven miles. So this spread was super fun to do and it's just a great memory. And I had so much fun with it um, and I saved <laughs> I saved some weird things for it, but I'm so glad I did. If you're into memory keeping or scrapbooking, I'm sure you take really weird things from places you go. So this was on the disposable napkin at the restaurant and I immediately was like, I'm taking that. So I put it in my pocket and then <laughs> this was the <laughs> little box. They brought us bubble gum at the, at the end of our uh, meal and the box was super cute. And so I cut that and put that in here. And then this was from the chopstick wrapper. So, you know, just little things like that that I like to save. And then this was our ticket to get into the park. And this was the actual map that they gave us at the gift shop. So, uh, and that was a business card from the place we had breakfast. So it's, it's really fun. It's nice to capture these memories. And I'm so excited. So this is what the actual layout looks like when it's blank. So you could absolutely use this as a weekly planner or, I mean, you could really do anything with it. You could use it as a weekly memory keeping insert or you can use it like I did. Um, yeah, there's a lot that you can do with it, but I really love the layout. And this next insert I actually had in my gray B6TM before, but I've moved it here because it's something that um, I like to do just kind of when I'm like, say in a doctor's office and I'm bored or like pretty much anywhere I'm at where I'm trying to pass the time I like to uh, practice my lettering and so I put that in here and then this insert actually uh, did this for you guys on here when I I did this cover anyway um, so this is just a little notebook that I got I believe it was from I believe I got it at Michael's and it was from this notebook is going to be journaling and memory keeping from our trips to Florida. We have family in Florida and they are a Disney family and we typically go to Disney even if it's just Disney Springs uh, when we go to visit them. So I wanted to have an insert just for that and that's what I have here. So I still have an elastic for another insert uh, that I don't really need right now so I'm just kind of keeping it the way it is. 
This die cut is beautiful. These are from Karen Taylor Creative. I am a patron to her and you get stickers every month in the mail and I thought these were so pretty. And then this little clip is from the Honeybee Shop. So that is my Traveler's Notebook. <laughs> like I needed another one, but like I said, it's all Shan's fault. So speaking of Shan, uh, this was the first Traveler's Notebook I had, and this is from her, from the Honeybee Shop. And uh, I've kind of repurposed it a little bit, but it's, it's still pretty much the same thing. So when you open it up, and I really need to decorate this pocket, I keep saying that and then I don't do it. So this is a spiral notebook from Honeybee Shop that I got on sale one time. And I started out using this as podcast notes when I'm recording my podcast pixels and planners. Um, I may still use it for that, but I really just wanted like a, you know, sometimes you just want like a notebook with you that you can just write in. Like you can, it's just like a brain dump, like just do whatever you want with it. I really wanted that in here and I love the black paper. So yes, I may use this for podcast notes, but I may also use it just for general notes or to do's or things I want to write down. Um, when I don't have my planner near me, I might use it as a journal, really still kind of figuring that out. This here is my memory keeping insert for now anyway. And I think I'll probably still keep it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do because I got an actual memory keeping insert from Lice Planner Action that I'm gonna use because I feel like it's going to motivate me to actually memory keep more. This is just plain dot grid paper. So I just do whatever I want on it and I probably will keep it in here. Um, but this is my memory keeping insert as of right now. And then this is my journal. So not gonna show you what's in it, but it is just plain paper. And I got this at a local um, antique and consignment shop. So I love it, it's hand stitched, it's super pretty. Um, and I just really wanted a place to, to journal and get my feelings out. And again, that is from Dolce Planner. And then I have a random piece of vellum in the back. <laughs> and room for another insert. So what I think I'm gonna do is when I get that memory keeping insert that I ordered, I'm gonna put that in here and also keep this in here and maybe repurpose it um, for the back half. So we shall see, but that is my gray B6TN. I don't really have a name for it. It's just, it's just my B6TN. Uh, this one is one that I don't plan on taking anywhere with me. It kind of just stays at home. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to call it, but that's my gray B6TN. Now we have the purple B6TN, but this is a video game B6TN, so I call it the VG B6TN. Got lots of, lots of uh, letters going on here. So this probably hasn't changed much since I last showed you guys, but I use this for specifically video games, because that's a huge uh, hobby of mine. And I journal in here and kind of write about what I'm playing, how I'm feeling about games as I play them. I have not journaled since May 15th, which is awful. I need to definitely give this journal a little bit of an update. Okay, so. Um, and this actually, funnily enough, I got this at, I can't remember which year of MacFest, obviously after Detroit came out. I want to say it was 2019 when I got it. And I got a few different things from this one booth and I can't remember the artist's name, so I apologize. But I got like three or four of them and I had them in a box and I found it and I just had this, it was like this light bulb moment where I was like, I want to put stuff like this in one place, like in a book, 
because I have so much of this stuff like this. This came from the same box. I had like, you know those boxes at Michael's that they're like decorative and you can just keep stuff in them. I had like all that stuff in one box. This is actually from L.A. Noir from 20, I almost said 2020, 2011. And I, I cut it down. It was from the collector's edition of the game. And I've just had little things like that. And there's another one here that I wanted to put in one place all together. And since I love paper crafting, I thought this would be perfect. So anyway, um, there's a lot of Animal Crossing stuff in here. This is a spread uh, Animal Crossing with Queen and just some fun, um, you know, screenshots of memories we had together. And this amazing little sticker, I gotta show you all close up. Look at that. So when I found that sticker, um, I lost my mind. That is from Bare Necessities Sticker Co., one of my favorite sticker shops. And it's a switch with pink and purple Joy-Cons and a bat on top and also bats right under the buttons there. And I just absolutely had to have it, so. Anyway, we've got several Animal Crossing spreads in here. This was for New Year's in Animal Crossing, which was such a cool memory. And then here's some more. And this is just from like throughout 2020. I need to glue this down. I'm gonna do that right now with y'all. There we go. That should be good at least for a little bit. I don't know why I put that right on the spine of the So that's why it's fun to document this kind of stuff. And then this was a fun spread I did uh, based on Last of Us Part 2 and the flashback to the museum for Ellie's birthday. It's one of my favorite moments in the game and I had so much fun doing this. Um, and then this is actually a sticker of a design that I drew. I'm pretty proud of it. Obviously it's based on Ellie's tattoo. It's not an original design or anything, but I did my own uh, interpretation of it and I really like it. So that's my memory keeping spread still have or insert and I still have a lot of pages left. This is Akiyama from the Yakuza series. And then I have a monthly insert. This is from Lights Planner Action. Take a shot every time I say Lights Planner Action in this video and you will be drunk. Um, so <laughs> here I am tracking game releases or at least I'm supposed to be. Um, I the main thing I did, I did do June. But it's kind of difficult sometimes because especially now after like, and I mean, we're still in it, but with COVID and everything, a lot of games have been pushed back and they get delayed kind of last minute. So I try not to go and do it too far ahead of time. But the one thing I did in here that was really fun was doing every villager's birthday, which I do have a separate video on that here in the channel. So I have a link to that in the cards and in the description box. So you can see how I did that. Um, and I actually have no villager birthdays in July, which is kind of weird. Uh, Tipper is gone. So, uh, it's still, it's still fun to like have their birthdays in here. Remember the villagers that you used to have. Uh, and then Nan, I still have Nan. So, um, that's what I've been doing with this. And I plan on going in and putting in, you know, games that came out, games that were announced. Like if a game is announced on this day, I want to write that down. Um, and other things like that. So, and then I just have a little back pocket. And this is where I just kind of store extra stuff for future memory keeping spreads, extra photos that I printed out. Uh, this was a little shaker I made. I believe I did a video here on the channel on how to make this. And it was super fun. Um, and this is just a print um, based on Life is Strange, which is one of my favorite game series. And I got this at MAGFest as well, and I couldn't tell you who the artist is, which I hate. I really wish I could give them credit, but anyway, that's a little shaker I have of that. And then I also got this at MAGFest. Again, I wish I knew the artist so I could credit them, but I don't. That's the thing, like when you go to cons and stuff and you, you just buy stuff in the marketplace and they don't like have their name on the back or anything, you don't know who did it, so. 
I'm sorry. Um, and then yeah, just little like scraps for future memory keeping spreads. That's a screenshot from Life is Strange 2. Yeah. So it's nice to be able to store stuff here in the back. Okay. This is the last one, I swear to God. Okay, so this is the MCR B60N. If you have been on the channel before, you may have seen this. This was an idea that I had last year um, when I was in lockdown and really just had a lot of time on my hands. And I knew that similarly to when I found the stuff um, for the video game notebook, I, I've gathered so many things throughout the years based on my favorite band, which is My Chemical Romance, obviously. And I wanted one dedicated place to be creative and really just like commemorate my favorite band. Something that I could hold, like something tangible that I could, you know, look at and create in. And I'm just, I'm in love with it. I'm very proud of it. And I still have a lot more I want to do with it. So stay tuned because I do have more videos coming up based on this. Um, and so I have it broken down. I have an insert for each era of the band and I need to do one for return era. I just haven't done it. But um, here I have a photo of me. I was around 14 years old and this is when the Black Parade is Dead came out, which is the live album that they did. Uh, when the Black Parade era was kind of closing. So I have a photo of me. It was a mirror selfie that I took <laughs> back in the day. And then this is a photo of the ticket from my first and only My Chem show. That is until next year when I go see them again, finally. I'm supposed to see them in 2020, but you know. This is a pin from Hot Topic of uh, Pepe from the Black Parade. And then this is a pin from Natty Cat Pins. And this is obviously based on the uh, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge album art, which is right here. And then this is a sticker that I made, and this is my interpretation of the art. So I'm going to put that in the Revenge insert. But I just wanted to kind of show you. Um, so this is a piece of vellum, and I printed this beautiful art piece that my friend Ainsley made, and she posted it on Instagram. And I immediately was like, oh my god, if I can have that in the MCR B60N, I would love it. So um, this is by my friend Ainsley. I'm going to link to her Instagram in the description box. She's amazing. She's an amazing artist. Uh, she just graduated from art school. She actually went to the same art school that Gerard went to. Um, and she's she's an awesome person. So I will definitely, uh, you should definitely go follow her and check her out. So this first insert is the Bullets era insert. And that's why I put this on here because um, even though the red and black is is really like it reminds you of Revenge era. Um, and if you're not an MCR fan, you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. So bear with me. But <laughs> Unleash the Bats was on the uh, booklet, the CD booklet for uh, bullets. And that's why I put it with this. So anyway, OK, <laughs> most of y'all are like, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. This is from their first album and these die cuts, you're going to see a lot of die cuts that look like this throughout this. These are from Karen Cunningham and oh my god, what an incredible artist. And she actually designed the new collection, the Danger Days collection, uh, the makeup collection, I'm sorry, coming out from Hip Dot. And it's absolutely incredible. She's an amazing artist. Uh, definitely check her out too. I'm going to link to her Instagram in the uh, description and also her shop where I got these. Um, and so this is just for the first, the band's first album, and I haven't done very much. I have a lot that I need to do, but I've got a lot of room to work. And all the covers on these inserts I actually made myself, and I have videos here on the channel on how I made them um, from, like, the process of, like, scanning stuff to designing to printing and, and all that stuff. So um, I have a link to the playlist, the MCR B6TN playlist in the cards and in the description. So I encourage you to check it out if you are interested in learning how to make uh, inserts. I made these inserts as well. So it's a very low cost option if you want to make a notebook. And then this is the revenge insert. And yes, they're a little crackly. They're a little loud when you open them because of the type of paper I used. But I actually love that. Like I love how like DIY they are and just, I don't know, I think they're really cool. And Frank wants to fly off the page. That hair was iconic, by the way. 
Like he probably cringes when he looks at it. I think like this whole, like he was serving a look here. Like that eye makeup and the hair, like, come on, amazing. Anyway, so <laughs> this was a art journaling spread I did uh, for Revenge. And I did a video here on the channel of me creating it. And it was so fun. And I can't wait to do more. I just need to actually sit down and do it. And this actually, you can see how it's changed. This was how this started. I scanned a sketch that I did in the Archer and Olive uh, notebook that I showed you and printed it on sticker paper. And this is how it started. And this is how it ended up after I did some digital edits on it. So it's pretty cool. Anyway. And then um, it's kind of out of its uh, elastic here because I was working on something. This is the Black Parade insert. And for some reason, I felt compelled to put Mod Podge on top of this photo. And it loves to, um, you know, stick to the other page. But again, I love how it's very like, it's imperfect and it's and it's DIY and it has texture and it has like my personality in it and I love it. So this was a spread I did um, for the Black Parade and this was so much fun to do. I, I did this here on the channel as well and this type of writing that I had here in the background to fill space. Um, I actually like if you you can read it kind of and like if you know what what you're looking at so I can I'm trying to see what I wrote now come one come all to this tragic affair and then you can like read the rest so it's the lyrics from um, the end which is the first song on the black parade so uh, yeah that was really fun but Shauna Klingerman taught me about this and about this style of writing so uh, yeah I have a whole insert here for black parade that I can't wait to get back into and then I have one for Danger Days, of course. And this was a collage that I made in college. And um, it was when I was in like a Photoshop class and learning how to work with like masking and layers and stuff. And it was super fun. I got an A on the project. And uh, I obviously see a lot of things now where I'm like, oh, I could have improved there. I could have done this, but I still think it's cool and I love it. So that's the only thing I've done in the Danger Days insert so far, but I have a lot planned. And then, like I said, I will have a return insert, which commemorates the current era of the band, which is after the breakup. And I still want to do a breakup uh, insert in here, like for that era, because even though the band wasn't around, the members of the band were all doing individual things and it was like a really memorable time in my life, so I want to do that somehow, but I'm gonna have to jump band because I'm out of bands. So <laughs> again, I'm so sorry if you have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about. Um, but if you're a fan of MCR, let me know in the comments. We should chat. Cause I usually end up talking to myself about this stuff because no one else cares. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put this in here actually. This is a good spot. This is a sticker I made with the art that I made and I'm so proud of it. I'm not I'm not very good at drawing, but I have a lot of fun with it. And I'm very proud of that. So I'll put that right there. Anyway, so that is it for now. Um, like I said, I have a lot of things planned for this. Quick little pick of me and Gerard in the backyard. No big deal. And uh, that is the MCR B6TN. If you have any questions about this, let me know. And that is it. I think that's finally all my planners. I don't think I forgot anything. Maybe I did, I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I appreciate all of your comments and things that you leave. It encourages me to keep making videos. Um, I appreciate you guys a lot. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. Uh, hit the thumbs up and turn on the notification bell. Click on that so every time I upload, you will get a notification. Or at least you should. Sometimes YouTube um, doesn't like to push out those notifications, but they usually do. So be sure to turn that on. And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Check out my podcast, Pixels and Planners. Uh, check out my Patreon. 
All this stuff is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!